Hello again. I've been thrifting again, as one does. <laughs> And today I have a cozy dark academia thrift haul for you all. If you've been here before, you know I love mixing up my style and playing around with different aesthetics all the time. But I find in wintertime, I especially love leaning into the dark academia aesthetic. So I think during my thrifting, I've naturally been drawn to more of that dark academia vibe. So I thought I would show you what I got in a bit of a lookbook and also give you some cozy winter dark academia outfit ideas. And we're gonna get started with the accessories first. First up, I have this leather belt here. Thrift stores are my favorite place to get good quality leather belts. My real life job involves leather craft, so I know how much a new good quality leather belt can actually cost. Since I was a teen, I've always made sure to go through the belt section at thrift stores because you really can find some good pieces. And I've been looking for a belt this style for a long time. And I was really excited to add a belt like this to my collection for about five bucks. In styling my belt, I of course had to do it in the tucked draping leather bit. <laughs> I just think it looks really nice and just changes up the look a bit for my other belts. You can also wear it straight across or tucked into the belt itself. And I just think this is going to be a super versatile piece in my wardrobe and gives me that structured, refined, dark academia style. Next up, we have this traditional tweed flat cap. It's a classic style. I'm a gal who loves a hat, a headpiece, a ribbon. I like any hair, hat, head accessories. It's very Newsies. It's very my grandpa, very Peaky Blinders. Oh, and I've just noticed, um, I didn't notice this before, but you can actually undo the, the top. I don't know why you would, because you then have the little, the little popper, but um, yeah, pretty cute. Love the colors in it as well. In styling this hat, it is about finding the space where newsies and dark academia meet. I guess it's finding that street style versus the more stuffy dark academia look. I love the menswear vibe that this hat intrinsically brings to it, and I feel very cool while styling it. Last up for the accessories before we move into the main clothing pieces, I have this classic tweed style waistcoat. I saw this and had to get it. It just screams dark academia. I am of the opinion that you can never have too many waistcoats or sweater vests. That is a hill I will die on. They're just such a great way to break up an outfit, add something a little bit different, and a really easy way to get a dark academia vibe. Also love the amount of buttons. Let's see outfits. When I was thrifting this, I knew it might be a little bit on the small side, and I think it would be fine if my uh, chest was not as voluptuous as it is. So I do have to leave the top buttons unbuttoned, or else the gals would just be a little too squished in. <laughs> but I honestly like the vibe. I think it's very dark academia student who's fed up with all the rigid rules and just wants to not be so strict. <laughs> Whether it's paired with a skirt or with some trousers, I think this piece just complements my dark academia wardrobe perfectly. Now we are going to delve into the main clothing pieces that I have, starting off with the piece I am most excited about. I've already worn this like three times since I bought it. And that is this long tiered black dress. I know dark academia really focuses on separates. You know, you don't see a focus on dresses or like jumpsuits things like that. And I think a piece like this can be really versatile. I think this piece can also work more in the dark cottage core aesthetic. Really easy to layer things under and over it. And is there anything better in this world than a sack dress? That way you can make it as cinched in or free flowing as your heart desires. With a dress like this, I think there are an infinite number of ways that you can style it. Like I said before, I think the color of the dress gives more of a dark cottage core vibe. I'm pairing a black mock neck crop top under it. It looks good belted. It looks good with a bodice. But I think my favorite way so far is pairing it with my elf sack blazer. What's great about this piece is it is a perfect base. It's not necessarily standing out on its own, but it is a perfect vehicle for which all of your other wonderful dark academia pieces can be layered on top and be given a chance to shine. Thank you. 
now we will move on to separates. <laughs> I thrifted this beautiful pink 100% silk blouse. I find myself in the dark and light academia aesthetic really being drawn to this light pink color, this like dusty light pink. I don't know why. I mean, obviously I like pink, but there's something about it that gives uh, the aesthetic a little bit more femininity, quote unquote. You know what I mean. I still like pink and I still think it can look girly. Obviously loved all the buttons and the mock neck collar. I am nothing if not consistent in my legs. A wide sleeve with a tailored cuff. It has all the elements that I love. And I think the elegance of the material paired with the structure of the construction of it makes it the perfect dark academia separates piece to work in with your other stuff. When I saw this glass, I immediately thought it would look really sweet with some suspenders. So I pulled out my collective suspender skirt to achieve that because I cannot find my normal suspenders. Because this piece is so versatile, I think it also looks good with longer skirts, with blazers, with trousers. That is the beauty of separates in the dark academia aesthetic. And it's why they're such a staple in the fashion. Next up, I have this green tartan plaid skirt. Nothing quite says dark academia like tartan. And I love the deep rich green of this skirt. I also thought, um, let me see if I can show it to you, but the buttons are very in line with the dark academia aesthetic with like a lion with a sword and various symbols. I'll try to, let me try to show you. I think this will look great not only in the dark academia style, but with my vintage inspired wardrobe as well. It can be sweet or structured, and I am always looking to add another great skirt to my collection. There are so many possibilities when styling a skirt like this. One of my simple and sweet go-to options with a skirt like this is a plain black turtleneck. You know, also throw a blazer on there, why not? But I've also paired it with one of my favorite dark academia combos in my gray sweater and my white blouse with a statement collar. I could be here for days showing you all the possibilities and I'm going to have a lot of fun working this skirt into my everyday wardrobe. This next piece is a bit of a wild card. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Whew. I don't even know if you can see this. But this is basically a medieval style tapestry wall hanging. Something I've always been kind of obsessed with is the look of medieval style unicorns, you know, where their body shape is not quite horse, not quite deer, kind of lithe and they've got lots of tufts, maybe even a little beard. Love medieval style unicorns. And so even though this isn't like 100% dark academia, style in terms of clothing stuff you can wear. I think this still fits with the vibe of classic studying history and romanticizing the ancient past. And in these cold winter months, it is nice to have a vision of medieval fantasy summer in the house. I'll try to get this up so you can see a bit more detail. I would love to know what you guys thought about my Dark Academia thrift haul. What were your favorite pieces? And what was your favorite combination styling that I did? I love this aesthetic, so it was so fun putting all these outfits together. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! My Ari, my, my, my real life job, job. Last up for the accessories. There is a piece of hair right in front of my eyeball. What are you doing there? So I pulled out my collective suspender skirt. So I pulled out my collective suspender.